and welcome to a Motor Week Motor Show special. Now already this year we've shown you the highlights from the Geneva and Barcelona Motor Shows and today it's the turn of the Birmingham NEC for a motor show with a bit of a difference. Because this is Max Power Live, the loudest and most in-your-face car show around with the NEC packed with customised cars from all over Europe. And on this week's Motor Week we're giving you an insight into the loud, proud world of car modifying. Well, I don't know about you lot, but I think for this sort of motor show, I'm a bit overdressed. Time for a change. That's a bit more like it, I think. Now, for most regular Motor Week viewers, the idea of a modified car scene, well, you get images of spotty lads driving Novas with 15 speakers on the back parcel shelf. But no, you come to a show like this and it really opens your eyes just how much time, effort and money are spent in creating these masterpieces. There was nearly every make of car at the NEC that had had the modifying process and the first to catch our eye was some very tasty Peugeots in the corner and they had the modifying treatment by Scottish company Ecos. So here we are sat in a modified 206cc. Now Dan, before we actually talk about the, the car, your company which, which specialises in modifying Peugeots, first of all, how, how do you keep going? I mean, is there a market for such, such a big market for these cars? It definitely is. I mean, we have spotted a niche market where people with Peugeots want something very special, very different. They don't want to be just another car in the crowd. They want to stand out. Now, looking around the, the show here, the, uh, there's a lot of young lads who, I mean, I, I, I'm sure I'd love to be able to afford a car like this, but uh, <laughs> I've struggled. So who are your customers who actually buy them? Well, I think uh, it is the young lads. I mean, certainly we do have a range uh, of customer ages. Uh, anything from 17 to, I mean, we've got a customer that's 65. So I don't think we can really pigeonhole everybody who likes to modify. Uh, but I would say that, unfortunately, the boy racer market is probably the, the, the most, uh, how can I say, uh, the most expendable cash. So, yes, I think it, it is mostly the younger uh, people that are doing it. But there is no age on modifying. So back to the car we're sat in here, the 206cc now. It's one we featured on the, on the Motor Week programme. Um, and you can tell from the other side of the shelf that it looks it looks a little bit different. But where do you start when you when you're looking at modifying a car? For me personally, I mean everyone likes something different. But me personally, I do like the car to look to the park to start with. Um, but I'm, I like speed and I enjoy a car to be powerful. So I work on the engine next. Um, I have throttle bodies for this car, which are basically take up to 190 brake wow. uh, from 137 brake standard. So they're my two main things and then after that it's interior and then going for the in car entertainment. Now presumably if you're changing the engine power from 130 up to 190 brake you're going to have to do some changes to suspension and brakes to be safe. Well, certainly brakes and suspension yeah, they're very important when you want to go a lot faster. Uh, we can do all that, we do four pot brakes, we do six pot brakes, we can do fancy suspension. We can do anything really to make it handle better once you've got that power. So, from one brand new modified Peugeot to one not so new. I've got a question for you. You can go out tomorrow, spend 17 grand on a brand new 206cc, or you can spend a grand on a 205 GTI and then another 16 grand doing it up. Now, it sounds madness, but Carl, that's exactly what you did, isn't it? It is. With your car. First question, what on earth possessed you to spend that much money? Well, well I know it's just an hobby, really. You know, it's a lot of time spent on it. You spend a lot of time doing it up and there isn't one about it around, is it? So it's, you know, it's the fact that it's unique, yeah, is that what you're going for? it's mine. You won't find another one like it around, you know, so why not? Right, and this, this guy is now about 11 years old? Yeah, 11 years, 1990. So what, 30. just quickly take me through what you've, what you've done to it. Uh, so, so everything's been changed, all underneath the car, all in the engine bays, all been renewed, polished up, signs, new hoses, everything's been renewed, new seats, Door cards, wheels, everything. Why not? It's brand new. You know, you won't get one around it. Like if you go get a new 206, everyone's got one, haven't they? Right. You know, fair, fair point. Fair point. No one's got one of these. If you had it all over again, and I said, "Here you go, Carl, 17 grand," would you start from scratch? Or I mean, there must yeah. be new cars out there that you've seen that you think are quite like the look I of it. I thought about it. I thought about like, you know, buying a Beam or a Nord Cruiser 206, like it seems to say, but. I like the car, and I'll never get rid of this. Another question that people have asked me, and it seems quite surprising, we've got some really nice cars, people spend a lot of money on them, but they all seem so young 
<laughs> now maybe it's just because I'm getting too old. <laughs> but I mean, what, what, if you don't want me asking, what do you do for a living? Join it. Right. So yeah. you're, you're basically modifying stages? Yeah, I have done, yeah. Uh, I mean, some people like do it from a bare shell and do it that way. But I've had a car and I was driving it at one point and then I started adding bits onto it. But then I got a bit more into it and then I only use it for shows now and then just modify it that way. So it's, it's not your regular everyday no, transport? No, I've got another car to work in the back and messing around in. But this is just really for shows. And do, do you think it's, it's age related? I mean, can you see yourself in a. You know, when you've, when you've got a wife and kids and all that, you're still going to have one of these sort of cars in the garage. Yeah, if you can afford it. You know, it's a bit of an hobby. If you haven't got an hobby, what else are you going to do? Now, it seems to me that every make of car gets picked for the modifying treatment, be it Ford, Vauxhall, BMW, BMW, even Mazda. The one brand that does seem to be absent is Alpha. But many are saying that next year that's going to change because the Alpha 147 could be the next cult hot hatch.